Hey everyone, I just wanted to start off by saying that I'm going to have to make the video around five minutes tonight, you know, quickly wrap it up because I've got a lot to um, get started on and I've got a long work shift tomorrow. But I will talk about um, what's been going on this week so far. Um, it's only been a few days, but <laughs> um, yesterday was just kind of tough getting started and, you know, the day before that because, well, some assignments force you to get out of your comfort zone, and that's what this assignment did. And today was actually pretty interesting. Um, my um, my mom, my aunt, my sister, and I um, took the took our cousins to see um, Epic, and you know that was a that was a really good movie. I thought it was pretty good. So I won't spoil anything for you. So. Um, yeah, that was really good. So that's part of what kept me busy today. And um, I do have some classwork to talk about. Um, last week we were focusing, um, in class we were focusing on developing um, a structured story, but now we're focusing on developing um, um, character, you know, because there are obviously characters in you know, any type of work. <laughs> um but this week, basically, def we're basically just studying up on what makes a character a character. A character is obviously defined by image, action, thought, and... I can't think of the fourth thing. What is it? Image, action, thought... Oh, voices. Voices, that's it. <laughs> um... I couldn't think of voices for a minute. It just escaped me. Um, but yes, my thoughts, what I already stated on one of my posts, is that thoughts plus voice plus actions equals image. That's just kind of how I think, um, you know, characters are characters because, you know, that's, to me, that's who they are. And I said that mostly actions define a character because... The actions really have the most impact. For instance, the character a character I also um, I also put this in the post. A character can be very insulting, very mean, but he can end up being very heroic. You know, saving someone from a collapsing ground or collapsing roof or a whole collapsing building. That shows that even though they're insulting a little bit, they've got a really true heroic core, so that's uh, pretty interesting. Um, they say that characters are usually only interesting if there's something conflicting. So for instance, let's see, uh, good examples, good examples. Um, oh, I almost forgot from today's material, or this week's material. Um, there's this one character named Starbuck, and he's generally, um, oh, he's from Battlestar Galactica, by the way. Um, he's a very high-ranking high rank, high official, and he really does his best to save the world, and he's, you know, got the experience and knowledge to prove it, but he's also kind of a bad boy outside the office, you know, he, um, he talks inappropriately, um, you know, he's late for a lot of things, generally, he's kind of, you know, being a little too, what's the word, um, rebellious, but, um, they say that it, you know, people like that can be like that because they don't have a connection with um, someone, you know, their parents or, you know, a friend they really like to know. So I thought that was really interesting. And that's basically all the time I have for today. Like I said, I got to get started on some other classwork and a little stuff, um, a little more than that, so I can put myself out there and get my foot in the door in the entertainment industry. All right, so that's it for tonight. Just let me know what you think, and you have a good day.